بلیو ناؤ دیر از اگین یو نو سم کمانڈمنٹس اباؤٹ معام لات دی افیئر آف دا ورلڈ اباؤٹ دی کیس از ان یو نو مرڈر دے بیکاز ان ایوری ہیومن سوسائٹی دیر کین بی کلنگ سلینگ ان مرڈر یا یو لدین آمن قطع مالک القصاص فی القتلا او یو بلیو دی لا آف ایکویٹیبل ریٹریبیوشن کنسرننگ دی سلین دی مرڈرڈ ون دیٹ ہیز بین میڈ essential for you kote baale ko it has been made imperative on you you have to abide by this laws equitable retribution concerning the cases of slaying and killing and murdering al hur ko bil hur a free man in the place of a free man he will have to die if he had committed the murder he will have to die or he will have to pay the blood money wal abd bil abd and if it is a slave then the slave will die not that because the slave jo hai he has he has killed a free man so he is not equal to his life no a man is equal to every other man as regards the life wal unsa bil unsa and if the murderer is a woman then that woman will go faman wa fi alahu bin akhi shay'un so so ever is you know is for for whom so ever something is diminished from his brother Now the brother of the slain, of the murdered person, of the killed person, their kith and kin, if they are ready to pardon him, it is as if they they have done some favor to him. From an ofi ya lahu bin akhi shayun. If they have accepted the blood money, that is also a mercy to to him, to the murderer, to the killer. For tebaun bil maruf, so then it should be given alleviation from your Lord. it should be in the proper way adaun ilaihi bi ihsan and that blood money should be paid to them in a very beautiful way not grudgingly adaun ilaihi bi ihsan zalika takhfif min rabbikum wa rahmah and this is an alleviation a decrease a leniency from your lord and a mercy faman yatada ba'da zalika who so ever transgresses even after that he has accepted the blood money also and he is after the taking the life of the killer also he so ever who so ever does both the things falahu azabun alim for him there is a very painful punishment so this is the beauty of the islamic law about these cases of murder you know if somebody is murdered he has gone now even if the killer is killed the family of the murdered person gets nothing but if you know this family pardons the killer now this killer you know this murderer is under an ihsan of those people and you know this will be good for both the parties otherwise especially the tribal societies killings go on revenge taken from one tribe then the people of the other tribe kill so many people of that tribe then again this tribe takes the revenge and kill so many people of that tribe it goes on you know in dynasties it goes on generation after generation it goes on but this law you know it can produce a full stop it can place a full stop on all these things because now the duty of the state is to procure and hold the and get that that murderer bring him to book now you place him at the mercy of the family of the people of the man who was murdered that family has the authority if they want to forgive him they can forgive him if they want to accept blood money they can accept blood money so that is actually the beauty and the wisdom of the divine law in the case of murder wa lakum fil qisas hayat ya ulul albab la lakum tattaqun and for you o oh people of understanding there is life in this law of equitable retribution concerning the slain so that you may save you may be saved kutiba alaykum iza azara ahadakum al maut in taraka khairan al wasiya it has been made obligatory upon you if death comes and comes the time of dying comes of a person amongst you if he is leaving behind him some wealth that he should prepare and give a will wasiya lil walidain for the parents wal aqrabin 
and the clothes in fit and kin, then maruf in a proper way, in a proper manner, in a reasonable, equitable manner. Haqqan al muttaqeen It's a duty upon all people who fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Actually, this ayah has been abrogated in total. Because when in Surah Al-Nisa, the law of inheritance was revealed in detail. This is the portion of the father of the disease. This is the, this is the portion of the mother of the diseased. And this is the portion of the daughters. This is the portion of the, of the sons. And if there is none among the parents or the offsprings, then you know this, this wealth can go to the brothers and sisters and so on. When that law was revealed, this thing was abrogated. Now it is not necessary for any Muslim to prepare a will because all whatever he leaves behind him, it will be distributed according to the law of the Sharia, law of inheritance. But you know, if somebody wants to make a will, he can make up till one third of his property only. And none of the inheritors, the regular inheritors according to the Islamic law, he cannot be given anything in the will. That is the portion that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has fixed. They will get only the fixed portion. This will can be only for other people, some poor people, some institutions, some work of charity that can be given, you know, but up till the limit of one third of the total property, not all, not more than one third. So this is applicable only now to the one third of the property of a person who has died and rest of it will definitely be distributed according to the law, detailed law, which is revealed in Surah An-Nisa. So this, it can also be said that this ayah has been abrogated totally because it is no more essential, obligatory for a Muslim to have a will. So, Qutiba alaykum iza hadara hadakumul mawtu in talaka khairanil wasiyyah, this commandment has been abrogated in total. But a part of it has been retained by Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. It is from sunnah. That if somebody wants to give something to in the will, then he can do it up till one third of his property. But then whosoever changes it, after he has listened to it, So the sin of it will be on those who change it. A person is dying and he has given a will supposedly verbally only but the people who were there they have now changed they say no no he said not that thing but he said this thing so the, now the person who has died is not responsible he will not be blamed on the day of judgment it will be those who have changed his will they will be brought to the book and they will be blamed in the last Samyun Alim verily Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala listens to everything and he knows everything